Hey, comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do that all important comic book review so you, the fans, can make a decision on what comic books to buy. And today, guys, we're talking about the all new, all different, the totally awesome Hulk. That's right, dudes. And uh, yeah, you got Amadeus Cho as the. Uh, as the new Hulk. Now, the last Hulk series that was done by Jerry Duggan, I think it was, uh, was very well done. And I wanted to see uh, what this Hulk series had to offer for its readers. I thought Doc Green was brilliant. Uh, we're going to see what this version of um, the Hulk has to offer. So, uh, this book is written by... Um, Excuse me one second. It's written by Greg Pack, and the art is done by Frank Cho. Uh, the artwork, I love Cho's artwork. I think it's it's fantastic. I love all the detail and the colors that goes into this book. Um, I even like the lettering in here because there's this little uh, there's this little droid in here uh, that's really Amadeus' sister, but they call it the Kegger. And uh, you get to see all the lettering in here, which is all different words. So it's speaking like robot and whatnot. But again, that, that artwork in here is great, and uh, and also Jennifer Walters makes her uh, appearance in this book as well, and uh, you know her facial expressions are really drawn drawn really nicely, and uh, overall visually this book is outstanding. Even Ultimate Spider-Man is in this book very briefly as well. So now that I like the artwork in this book, what was the story about? Will I be reading issue number two? Um, this book opens up with uh, with Amadeus uh, battling a like a turtle monster. It was like something out of uh, out of Godzilla. And uh, but in the brink of all this destruction, before he actually changes into the Hulk, uh, this is a much more different Hulk than what we're ever used to. Uh, he's sitting there slacking off, waiting till the very last moment to defeat his enemies. He's chowing down on burgers and things like that. He's very hungry because when he turns into the beast, obviously he, you know, uses a lot of calories. But we find out very early on that he's this obnoxious, young, 19-year-old teenage boy who, yes, is very smart, but he's overconfident and cocky, especially when he changes into the Hulk. Whereas Banner in the past, when he would get angry, he would just... You know, he would turn into the Hulk. He would get angrier and stronger and things like that. Cho just gets more obnoxious and cocky. And uh, you get to see that here, the way he's fighting and the way he's talking um, to a female in here by the name of Jacqueline. They do put this crazy censored symbol on, uh, on uh, Amadeus Hulk there, you know, when he loses his shorts, which is kind of like little potty humor. But nevertheless, it was a funny moment. Uh, we find out that we get to see him, again, working with his sister in the issue as well. Uh, and, again, she watches Amadeus through that little kegger robot. That's that's her eyes on the field. And uh, you get you don't really get an outcome here of what happened to Banner, if he's died or not. You get a little tidbit on his story. And I'll let you guys read that on your own. Uh, and uh, we get to see that, you know... Amadeus' sister is really trying to pound this into um, Amadeus' head that, hey, you got to take this more seriously. You know, you got to follow protocol and things like that. But again, when he transforms, I don't know if he can really control that. And they have to find out where all these crazy monsters are coming from. And so when they go to this next location, uh, you find out that. Um, he, they're doing battle against these other creatures and Jennifer Walters shows up in there. Also, Ultimate Spider-Man goes in there and he's kind of quirky, a little bit scared, doesn't know what to deal with the situation with these two huge hulks involved. And uh, at the end, we find out they're coming against this girl by the name or this warrior by the name of Lady Hellbender. And uh, she has this dinosaur creature with him and, and whatnot. And as he's getting his ass kicked, his sister goes, "Hey, are you okay?" And he goes, and "He goes, yeah, I'm okay. I mean, she's kind of fine, if you know what I mean." And it's just, it's so hilarious. He's always thinking about chicks and stuff like that. So, uh, it, it was a really good book. It was very well written. Um, I, I think this could be a, a totally 
a, an awesome direction for Hulk. And and, uh, and no pun intended there, but uh, I like this different direction on how he's humorous and and uh, overconfident. And yet there's there's still that hint of maybe he's thinking of the beast inside or whatnot, because in the issue you wind up finding out that he doesn't want to be compared to Banner. He wants to be his own person. So uh, really awesome, really well done issue. Again, lots of humor in here. Um, totally different direction for the Hulk, something that we've never seen before. And uh, this is definitely a very good jumping on point for readers. Uh, the mystery is still yet to be determined on how Amadeus actually does truly become the Hulk in the series. And we have to still find out what truly happens to Banner. And uh, you get to see that he has these little knickknacks, like these things that shrink people, this watch and things like that. So again, a lot of mystery still involved with this book. I can't wait to see where it goes. I'm on board for issue two. Uh, I'm giving this one a, a 4.75 out of five stars, really close to being five stars. I thought some of the humor may have been a little bit over the top, especially with that whole censored thing, uh, you know, but nevertheless, it was a really good book, nearly perfect for me, and I can't wait to read more. So guys, in the comments below, tell me what you thought of the totally awesome Hulk issue number one. Will you be reading more? Is this not the Hulk that you're looking forward to? Are you do not want to go in this new direction? Do you just want to stay with classic Hulk? Or do you want to embrace the change? So guys, again, leave me those comments below. And fans, as always, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. And until that next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.